Welcome back to starting out. So today I woke up thinking about something, something that many people look at in so many different ways, but I, had, I have my own view on it. That something is money. Money, sente, pesa. What, oh, 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 I'm wondering which other language to put it in. Uh, there was actually a song that someone wrote that I make the, the whole world go round. I am what your life's all about. So, uh, to me, if today you smile or frown, you are slave to me, you are bound. Uh, everybody love me, love me, love me. Uh, they talk about me, but my name is Money, Money, Money. So, what is my view of money? We shall begin by saying, if you haven't already, subscribe to this channel for more content on starting out. It's something I mainly started thinking about in my S6 vacation when I started reading a lot on uh, literature to do with money, you know. Uh, Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. There was uh, one of the best is um, Rich Dad Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki. Then Is Your Thinking Keeping You Poor? And of course I've been listening to different personalities from Grant Cardone to Gary V, Vuzi Tembe Kwai, all those things. As I sat down to look at it once again, well most money is green like uh, the environment and conservation themed color that I'm into, but it got me thinking on a different front altogether. Why is it that money is so misunderstood? Uh, it's called the root of all evil and things like that, but today I just in fact, even thinking about money would be considered greed. So I decided to decide to look at it in a different way. How was I looked at money as a river, a river that is constantly flowing everywhere in the world, a very huge river that has tributaries, the ones bringing the money in, and distributaries, the ones taking it out. But I realized that while people think the rich probably stack up lots of money pile by pile and things like that i actually looked at the fact that most of the rich their money is constantly moving it's like a distributary that comes to them and a tributary that goes back to the main river and it's such a complex and amazing system that the thicker you make your distributary the bigger it will be as a tributary to the main river which is the cash flow around the entire world once i thought of it in that way I thought I actually do not have to stack up piles and piles of money uh, in order to get the perception of riches. So that's my view on money, first of all, first and foremost. And of course money is a tool. How we use it uh, can either be good or bad. Uh, Grant Cardone has ever said an interesting statement that uh, I really loved from him was that um, life can be uh, can be bad with money but it is almost impossible without it so while it takes care of our needs uh, we should also understand that yes perhaps too much of it is bad at a certain point but the more knowledge you have on how to manage it and by experience really because I think even with all the literature written about it some of the people would still be uh, capable of mishandling the gift of money that is given to them that is just a brief on what I have what I think about money first as a large river flowing across the entire world that can be manipulated second as a tool that can be used for greatness or evil choose the one that you would like while I think about money I understand that it is important in the conservation struggle because the economics of space travel is what has made it difficult for so many years but now that we have Jeff Bezos and Elon Musk working in Blue Origin and SpaceX to make space flight cheaper. We can also look at the economics of conservation and if it is made cheaper, humanity can unconsciously look towards solving the challenge of climate change and so many other challenges that we do have. So that's my Friday talk on money. Uh, kindly like, share, subscribe to this channel and tell me what you think about money because Yes, there are so many opinions around it. Bye-bye.